Welcome to the video where we are going to look at the previous question paper of 2018. In this question paper, we are looking at question 1, section A. As you see it here on the screen, it is a word processing question. And all these six questions are going to talk to the text that we are going to be typing. So first of all, 1.1 says use Microsoft Word to key in the document as indicated below. So below means on the next page it is indicated like this. This document we have to type it in and then we have to look at the instructions on how should it be typed so that we don't type it with a wrong font or a wrong font size. So looking at the instruction again 1.2 says set the font to Arial 12 and then 1.3 says key in your examination number and question 1 on the first line in capital letters and center. Normally you will see that the text that you are typing is also showing all the things that must be there because you are going to type it on Microsoft Word and then you also see what you're typing in the question paper like this. Now, we are going to make sure that it is right aligned according to 1.4 where they say right align the first paragraph. And then 1.5 says save the document as hey aids one according to your school examination regulations. So normally your ID number is what you use to save and uh, so that you can be able to know where it is you save in a folder that identifies you but in this question we are going to save as he aids one and then we are going to print the document on an a4 page when we are done so let's look at the text that we are typing you see that there on top it is showing that you have to type your examination number and question one the heading he aids is what we are going to put there in typing and then we are going to end up having two paragraphs as indicated so I'm going to start typing the text as you see it but I will have to make sure that my font according to the instructions as we see them again here my font is Arial size 12 and then I'm also making sure that my alignment is always on the left because that is how I start. So I'm going to quickly change now the font and I will make it Arial by going to the font group, changing it to Arial and then I will change it to 12 and then I make sure that under the paragraph group my font is left. So my cursor is blinking on the left because my font is left there. Then now I'm ready to type the paragraph that is displayed here in the question paper. So let me quickly type and then we will continue with the other questions. Okay, so after typing all this text in question one, when we look at question two, it says open the document you saved as he aids one and edit it according to the instructions given below. So meaning that this we will have to save it as he aids one. So I'm just going to go and click file, save as, and then I will choose the location where I'm saving my files and then this one will have to be he aids one so i will go there and type he aids he aids one and then i'm going to make sure that i save in the correct place so i will just identify the place where i'm saving and then i will save it 
so you look there on top he eight one confirm that it's saved with the correct name so there it says change the font as you see on the instructions change the font of the main heading he eight to copper black size 18 underline and center so if i'm going to highlight this because we are following the instructions so when you highlight you know you have to drag on top of the text when the i beam is starting on the left and highlight like that that's why i'm going to change it to the font size i'm going to change it to the one specified for me so as you are looking for the font type and the font size given to you if you don't find it here rather than wasting time scrolling you can just type the one that you see as the instructions give given on the question paper a uh, copper black as you type you see all the uh, suggested names that goes with what you are typing so copper black is down there on the list as you see so i have to go and click it now so i will just move my mouse there and click copper black and then size 18 i will make it 18 like this and then i'm going to underline it so i will click underline and make sure that it's centered the 2.3 says insert a space between each letter of the heading so meaning that the heading there i will just have to press space after h and then go after e space a space after i just like that so that i have spaces between letters of my heading and then i'm going to make sure that now 2.4 is done when they say edit the sentence starting with he aids is a national program designed to to appear in italics and bold so if you look there paragraph 2 he aids is a national program too so now they said edit the sentence so i will just go up until i see full stop that is the end of the sentence i'm going to edit this sentence to appear in italics there i click italics and then i will also make it bold then i click b and then bold the words south african college principals organization so i will go and look for south african college organization principals organization so when i look there on my paragraph i have to see the text according to the instruction there it is south african college Prin principals organization so this one after highlighting it i will just have to go and make it bold as instructed 2.6 says insert the text as indicated below number 2.7 says insert a diamond shaped bullets number eight and so on so now when we look at the text that we are editing as indicated here in the question paper you are told more in what we call manuscript signs and instructions pointing to where the sentences or words must change so i've done the one where i had to change the font you see it there i've inserted a space between each letter of the heading now they say there that i have to change the line spacing of the original text to 1.5 so meaning that everything must change to 1.5 line spacing so i will highlight everything there then i will go to paragraph group like this and then you will see that spacing there line spacing you have 1.5 make sure that before and after it's always zero there so when i click ok my line spacing is 1.5 and then on the instruction again the second one there it is talking about where i had to change the first sentence change the sentence into italics and bold as indicated i've done it so you see that these instructions are now starting to look like the document that i'm editing here because i'm following the instructions step by step now when you look at the instructions again it says that insert a diamond shaped bullets now the bullets will go to the new text that we are going to type 
if you see that um, at the bottom here of the two paragraphs there are no there is nothing there but on the instructions in the question paper it shows that I must add more text so after adding the text I will have to insert the bullets as indicated here when they say insert diamond shaped bullets 2.8 says change the font of the inserted text to font type Palatino Linotype size 14 I'm going to do that once the text has been typed then underline the sentence at the last bullet starting with future beats youth I will also have to do that one set the line spacing of the original text to 1.5 I've done that one copy the heading of the do bottom of the document copy the heading to the bottom of the document and write a line okay so I'm going to do that as we continue so now we need the text to come here then we edit the text after editing the text here we will take this heading and put it below the text after the text is there so I'm just going to click at the end of paragraph 2 and press enter twice so that now I can be able to type the text that is is supposed to actually appear at the bottom of my paragraph 2 enter enter so now here I will say first I will type what is needed then we continue right so after typing all this now I just have to look at the instructions again let's look at what is happening so you see now the instructions that shows the text that I was supposed to insert is now showing the paragraph that I just typed because you are typing while looking in the question paper so this is the question paper now the question paper instructs me to make sure that I insert the diamond shaped bullets so I will just highlight and make sure that when I go to paragraph group where I see bullets there clicking the small arrow there I will see more bullets there indicated so now I will go and take the diamond shaped bullets when I click the bullet there it will go to my text I will also make sure that this paragraph I mean the sentences that I also typed here they are also having a 1.5 line spacing there okay and then now underline the sentence in the instructions remember let's go back and look at the instructions as you see now on the screen the instructions are indicated there that I have to insert the diamond shaped bullets 2.7 2.8 says change the font of the of the inserted text to font type palatino linotype so when you highlight you'll go there and then type palati then when it comes palatino linotype there it is when you press enter it will change the text there because it's a uh, faster than actually dropping down and scrolling to find it so after typing it there when it appears when i press enter it will actually change what has been highlighted so it must also be font size font 14 I've done that underline the sentence at the last bullet starting with future beats so this sentence here I'm going to underline it by clicking underline there and then after underlining it set the line spacing of the original text to 1.5 that one we have done it then 2.11 says copy the heading to the bottom of the document and write a line so I'm going to go and highlight this you can go to your tools under home and say copy and then when you go down you still have to paste it so I will go 
and click at the end of the text press enter enter twice it won't come with a bullet when you say the second enter so now i will have to go and click the big button there paste and then now remove this bullet because we don't want it here on the heading so this heading must be right aligned i highlight and i go there and say right align there it is now look at the instruction to make sure that you've covered everything my instruction says justify the whole document 2.12 so justifying the whole document we can highlight from top there and highlight until the end and then you will say justify is the one there there it is so when you justify you see that now your two paragraphs are going to be uh, the margins will try to be even on the left and on the right but now after doing this we need to consider that there are marks allocated for the heading so that we don't lose the mark of making it to be centered and then the heading again that is has just been copied we highlight it and make it right align but my text it is still justified as you see there as it is indicated and also on the instructions again when they say justify the whole document now this one we will save it as he aids two and it will be our second print out of question one so this is question two printed out because question one was just typing without editing thank you for watching this is how you do question one of the question paper 2018 thank you mm -hmm.